First up, well, let's get you some visuals of an iftar dinner held by the Indian High Commission in Islamabad in Pakistan. Now, the event saw a low turnout due to guests being made to turn back, it seems. Reports have emerged of several guests being harassed and forced to turn back. Most cars entering the High Commission office were also checked with reports of several guests being mishandled. That's the latest information we are getting uh, from that iftar party held at the Indian High Commission in Islamabad. Sidan Sibbal is now joining us live for the very latest on the Sidan. What details do we have? Well, uh, the, the Indian mission in Islamabad is hosting an iftar uh, today. It had invited the top political leadership of Pakistan also. Uh, but uh, right now what is happening is something that has become a norm there in Islamabad. Harassment of the guests, the invitees who had uh, gone there for the iftar, uh, they were asked to turn away uh, from the iftar party. Uh, some were even manhandled by the park security agencies so that they do not enter the iftar. Iftar party. In fact, our, um, uh, our High Commissioner Ajay Bisharia had to start a speech by saying that he apologized for the difficulties they uh, were facing. And uh, in fact, this is nothing new, but uh, this is at an unprecedented level because now guests are being stopped to even go for an iftar party at a hotel. Because remember, this iftar party is not happening in the Indian mission, it's happening in a hotel. They're a, a well-known hotel there, and there we, uh, we, we are now getting visuals. In fact, the speech is also out of the Indian uh, High Commissioner of, uh, of what he had to say. But by and large, this was something that, that, that was, in a sense, expected also. Because remember, since December, the Indian diplomats in Pakistan have been facing a lot of harassment. India has sent a number of note verbals to Islamabad to make sure that the harassment stops. In fact... In December, in uh, uh, Islamabad, of course, it's a lot of uh, it's it's cold, and in in that cold, we saw lives being cut off of Indian diplomats. Then, of course, the internet was also stopped. The construction of the new uh, new uh, new places in the Indian mission were also stopped by the security agencies. In fact, after uh, the uh, Balakot strike by India, uh, there were other uh, uh, confirmed reports that how the Indian diplomats were chased by Pakistani security agencies. Uh, when they used to go around nearby places. Right, Sidan. And of course, significantly for this iftar party, we do remember uh, that the Indian High Commission had also invited many Pakistani officials uh, and many very high-profile uh, Pakistani officials, including Imran Khan, if uh, I'm not wrong, was also invited for this. Well, yes, Bharvi, the, the Indian mission had invited the president of Pakistan, the prime minister of Pakistan, uh, the, the foreign secretary was also invited. Uh, obviously, we right now do not have confirmation that whether the foreign secretary uh, went there or not. But we also know that the Pakistani prime minister right now is, uh, is uh, out of country for uh, a summit for the Organization of Islamic Cooperation Summit. So, obviously, uh, the, uh, the, the, the president and the prime minister could not attend, but the foreign secretary's uh, uh, the presence there is still needs to be confirmed. Other political leaders were also invited, including uh, the the Senate Speaker. Uh, but uh, I, I believe there is no confirmation on that part. But uh, right now the speech is out. This is something that uh, uh, will be important to hear that what the Indian uh, High Commissioner in Islamabad had to say, because there are obviously new hopes, uh, given the fact that a new government is in place in Delhi. And we know that the Pakistani Prime Minister will be going to Kyrgyzstan, and the Indian Prime Minister will also be there at the uh, at the SEO summit which will happen in Kyrgyzstan in the second week of June which will be uh, the first time that both the leaders will be face to face and in one room we obviously uh, do not have confirmation uh, that whether they're going to meet but we also know that right now there there is no mood here in Delhi to meet with the Pakistani leadership given the fact that cross border remains an issue and Pakistan is just not changing its track on that. All right, Sadan, thanks very much indeed for joining us with the very latest there on those visuals of empty chairs at that iftar party in the Indian High Commission there. Many uh, officials, we believe, have been manhandled, harassed. That is the iftar party that the Indian High Commission was holding there in Islamabad.